Hello, my name is Jim Townsend. My website is at uh, townsend.be. That's T O W N S E N D dot B E. The purpose of my video is just to pa pass on a little bit of practical knowledge. I know when we moved out in the middle of nowhere with our family and started uh, growing a garden and all that other sort of stuff and picking up things and trying to make do, we heard tales of how you could uh, uh, make your own alternate energy and everything else. And Everybody had a lot of good ideas, and when we went to implement them, we found out that a lot of times people didn't actually know how to apply the practical knowledge, and sometimes when you have um, schematic diagrams, they're uh, um, made for a, a technical person, so you really don't understand them. So what I want to show you is just how to use uh, uh, an alternator to generate some electricity here. So the first thing that I have is just an ordinary 12 volt um, uh, light bulb. Um, the second thing I have is I've got an alternator right here. Now I want to show you a, a schematic of how I've got it uh, hooked up. Um, this here is the alternator. Okay, now the alternator, the outside of the case is negative. So we've got a wire there going just down to a little plate here that says negative and then from this plate I uh, ran a wire to the battery. Okay, so I've got the, the case grounded out to this little plate that's negative. Now on the positive side over here, on the uh, alternator you'll find a, um, a, a, a positive. You take that wire out of there and you connect it down to this positive plate. Now in order to get the alternator to actually generate electricity, you need to run power to the field windings. So you take another uh, uh, wire from the positive plate and you just run it over to the two field windings that, uh, uh, that you're going to see there. Okay, and then you take a wire and you run it onto the positive post on the, on the battery. So here's how all of this is going to work out. I'll show you exactly what's going on here. First of all, here's my battery. Here's my alternator. I've got the alternator, the positive post here, hooked up onto this plate down here, the negative plate onto, onto that one. I've also hooked up a little um, uh, a voltage meter here so that I can read the voltage, as you can see. There is nothing being generated out of there right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the positive and negative clips for the light bulb and I'm going to put the, uh, the positive clip onto the positive plate and the negative clip onto the negative plate. Now nothing's working, you can see that. There's no um, uh, electricity running through the system or anything else. So then I'm going to take these last two wires that I have down here to connect to the battery. So those are those two wires there, the positive and negative uh, uh, wires. So I put the negative on the negative post, I put the positive on the positive post. And now what you see what happens is the light bulb lights up. Okay, so and then you can see over here that you have 11.65 volts on your battery. Now your battery needs to be above 6 volts in order to start the alternator, work, alternator working in the first place. So I'm going to take my screw gun and I'm just going to put it into the middle of the alternator in order to spin it so that you ha you can see it has to be spinning at a certain speed in order to generate electricity. So here I go, I'm spinning it. And now I take off the positive off of the battery and you can see that the light bulb is still on. So it's still generating electricity so that if I look over here, if I stop this, the power on the bulb went out. So that means that it is generating electricity. Now you have to get it spinning a certain amount. So what I did is I had a little water wheel. And when I got the water wheel going, I took a reduction gear and I put it on backwards. So instead of reducing how fast it was spinning, it increased how fast it was uh, uh, spinning, the production gear instead. And then I took that and put it on a bicycle wheel and it had a large outside. And then I took a uh, rubber, um, uh, um, belt that I, I made out of some stuff from a spinning wheel and I put it around the um, alternator and onto the bicycle wheel and it actually spun it fast enough then that this would generate electricity for me but it froze up in the winter time so then we had to move it inside and I took an alternator and I put it on a bicycle and then it was made out of a 12, uh, 10 speed bicycle so my kids would get on the bike and they put it in about 6 gear and they'd pedal along and we had all the lights going and everything else so again you can see whenever I connect it up, the light goes on. So now it's just taking the um, power off of the battery. But now I'm going to spin it, and you watch. Whenever I spin this, I'll take the positive off the battery. So it's not running off the battery anymore. 
it's running off the alternator. And remember, the trick to getting the alternator running is simply to put power to these windings here. So here, I'm going to spin it, and you watch me disconnect it there. Oh. See? Now we've got power there, and it's reading that it's producing, at this speed, it's producing 10.62 volts. So that's just a little bit of practical knowledge that you can actually see and you, and you can use. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please go down to townsend.be and I'm going to post some really good information about just what I'm going to make a, a series of practical knowledge videos. Peace, y'all. Take care.